This is summer of 1997. You're 10 years old. You're home from school on summer break and you jump on Subaru's website. You're welcome with the sight of the new Subaru Forester. You click through to check it out, but that's not what you're here for. You're here looking for the news of the new rally inspired 2.5 RS. Finally, Subaru has given us a rally car for the road. You see March 27th, 1997, the New York International Auto Show, the new Impreza 2.5 RS Coupe is announced with its 165 horsepower 2.5 liter dual overhead cam four cylinder boxer engine. The Impreza 2.5 RS is the newest member of our driving performance category of automobiles, explains George Mueller, President and Chief Operating Officer, Subaru of America Incorporated. With our unique all wheel drive, System as the centerpiece technology, our product plan is focused around developing both hybrid and driving performance vehicles. Outback and the new Forester examples of our focus in hybrid arena. The Impreza 2.5 RS and the Legacy GT are examples of vehicles which offer all-wheel driving fun through more performance. These cars are driver's cars, cars which deliver a balance of power, traction, and driving comfort. Impreza is the model that Subaru uses in the WRC because of its strong platform and short wheelbase. In 1997, the rally car was changed to the two-door coupe model to decrease weight and increase performance. The Impreza has dominated the rally scene with a two-liter dual overhead cam boxer engine, which allows for a low center of gravity and a simple but highly efficient all-wheel drive system. For the first time in the U.S. market, and Impreza debuts with a design that showcases Subaru's efforts in the World Rally Championship. It features again that 2.5 liter 165 horsepower engine, 205-55 R16 tires, 5-spoke gold rally inspired wheels, and a 5-speed manual transmission. You're only 10 years old and you can't drive, but this is the car you know you're going to want someday. You dream about this car. Other kids have pictures of Ferraris and Lamborghinis on the wall, but you've got your Impreza 2.5 RS. You've got the STI, all of these Japanese cars that you just can't get your hands on, but it doesn't matter if you could because you're too young to drive. Well, the years just keep rolling, don't they? And you're 35 years old now. You can drive, you can buy a car. You could do whatever you wanted, except the problem is Subaru doesn't make the 2.5 Impreza anymore. You can't go and buy one anymore. It's not 1997, it's not 1998 anymore. If you want to find one, good luck. They've all pretty much rusted away, rotted away, been wrecked, modified, or destroyed at this point. And finding a clean example is uh, about like finding a needle in a haystack. But hey, never fear, there's a new Impreza RS. We can buy a brand new one from Subaru. Did you not hear last week, 2024 Impreza RS, it's coming, we can buy it. We can have our new RS. The only problem is, it's a hatchback only, CVT only, 182 horsepower, 11 inch monstrosity touchscreen in the middle. This is a slap in the face to old school Subaru fans. Old school fans of the RS and Subaru's rallying history. To put the RS namesake on this bland, mundane little hatchback is just a travesty. They could have called it anything else they wanted to. They could have put any other namesake on it they wanted to. But to put the RS badging on this car, a plain, unassuming, blends in with the pack, hatchback Impreza with, it's just, it's just an insult. I mean, Subaru, you have fallen a long way from where you once were. Looking back at Subaru's website in 1997, looking at that press release on the new RS, the way they spoke about performance and driving, they don't do that anymore. They don't care about that anymore. It's all about safety. It's all about blandness. It's all about sales and blending in with the pack. You don't want to stick out anymore. You don't want to be a Subaru car anymore. The Subaru name is known for quirky, weird, 
obscure vehicles, but that's long past. They are now following orders and they are getting their hair cut and looking like everybody else, falling in line with the pack. Now again, they could have called this car anything they wanted to. They could have called it the Impreza Sport. They could have called it the Impreza Special Edition. They could have called it anything out there, but to put the RS name on it, it just doesn't work. Here we are, 26 model years later, and they've improved us 17 horsepower. Our 2.5 liter, 165 horse, EJ 25D in 1997, 98 model year to an FB 25D direct fuel injected 2.5 liter, 17 more horsepower. It's a sad, sad thing. Back in the day, you could get your five speed manual. You could choose a 4EAT automatic at an $800 charge. But uh, now you don't even have that choice. You get a CVT and you'll like it because that's what you get because we want to put eyesight in the car. We want to have the nanny looking over you. We want to brake for you. We want to brake when you back up, brake when you go forward. We want to keep you in your lane. We want to waken you when you're dozing off and not paying attention. We're going to put a camera in the car looking at you to make sure that you're driving the way you should be and super safe and wrapped in bubble wrap compared to the 2.5 RS of old that uh, this new cutting edge thing was having uh, four wheel ABS and airbags. It's just, it's just so much different nowadays. You know, how many of you people my age, elder millennials, so we to say, you know, you're in your mid thirties to early forties at this point. Us car guys, or grew up aspiring to be car guys. Do you feel like you got robbed? Do you feel like you missed the boat? We missed the golden age of automobiles, motorsports, and just freedom when it comes behind the wheel of a car. All we had to look forward to now are hybrids, alternative fuels, electric vehicles. Everything's dying out. Everything's going the wayside. We don't have the uh, luxury anymore of uh, what once was. It's just, it is the way it is. This Impreza is probably just Subaru resurrecting an old nameplate for nostalgia to some. I'm sure it'll sell. It's going to be a seller. I mean, the Crosstrek is one of their most highest selling vehicles. So the lowered version now with the RS namesake is probably going to draw in a couple of people to buy it. But, uh, you know, it just sucks. It is what it is. I can't be completely negative here. The car as it is, as an Impreza, is a nice car. I mean, 182 horsepower. Finally, the 2.5 liter is in the Impreza. You don't have to option for a Crosstrek to get the 2.5 liter. You don't have the option of a manual transmission, but, you know, that's going away for 2024 in the Crosstrek as well. You only get a CVT there. The 11-inch touchscreen, we know how I feel about that. The technology is stupid. Honestly, stupid. You throw your iPhone away every year. Technology, as we know, every year it gets newer and better and we throw the old in the trash and forget about it. So having a iPhone or an iPad essentially stuck in the dashboard of your car is going to age that car very, very quickly in a year or two when it's slow. There's no more updates, no more support for it, and the new operating system and the new way things are done are out. And uh, your car just looks dumb. Whereas that old 1990s Subaru with his tactile buttons, switches, knobs, and levers is just as timeless today as it was when it was released. Subaru, get away from the touchscreens. People don't like them. Real drivers, real car people do not like them. The only people that like them are techie people, and they will hate them in the year or two when they are no longer in style. Please, Subaru, stop with the stupid touchscreens. We want tactile buttons. We want knobs. We want switches. We want things we can touch. We don't want a big stupid screen that's just going to get smudged up with fingerprints. Please stop with that. But yeah, otherwise, not to be all negative, not to be all dopey and depressed, just over here reminiscing about the good old days. Uh, it looks like a solid car. Again, it'll be a seller. Interior, exterior, overall nice. Uh, we're missing the hood scoop. We're missing the heat extractor vents. We're missing what made an RS an RS. The fog lights are too small. But again, we're no longer in that age. We are thinking back to a time that we will never get back. Uh, this is the way it'll be until 
you know, the Impreza, Crosstrek, and Outback are all electric vehicles or hybrid vehicles or hydrogen fuel cell or nuclear reactor or whatever crazy alternative fuels we see in the future. If we even even have cars in the future, who knows at this point. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. There's no changing it now. It's just one of those depressing things that makes you think back, or at least for me, maybe I'm just insane, that, uh, you know, the way things were will never be again, and uh, the way things are just aren't that great, at least in my opinion. So, the new RS, by itself, sure, cool car, what have you. If you buy one, great on you. I just think Subaru should have honored the RS nameplate by not putting it on such a pedestrian vehicle, such a bland vehicle, such a nothing vehicle that was nowhere near deserving of that RS badging, of the lineage of Subaru's World Rally Championships, of their WRC efforts, of the cars that came before it, of the Impreza generations before that raced and rolled and beat and banged and blew up and saw victory. It's just, it's unbecoming. But again, I'm over here rambling about a damn car. A car I didn't make and a car I won't buy. But uh, it is what it is. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully we're on a better note in the next one. And uh, I will see you all then.